hi guys and welcome back to my channel so today i have filmed this look that is on my eyes right now which i actually really like i'm proud i was a bit nervous going for purple um but it's the pharmacy ball this, this afternoon this evening basically it's this afternoon like it's so early um so i thought i could do some fancy eye makeup and film it for a video. So that is what this video is. I haven't got eyelashes on yet. I'm gonna have to put them on to take pictures actually. I hate having them on for a long time. Yeah, okay, I'm gonna have to do that. Oh well, so I was about the ketchup in the background. I can't be bothered to move it. And sorry about the whole background in general, to be fair. Like, I'm just in a gross little uni room, so fun times. But yeah, if you want to see how I kind of created this really bright, purpley, glittery look, then just watch the whole video, I guess. <laughs> just, just watch the whole video and hopefully you can do this too. I've done pretty much this whole look is with P. Louise products. So I started off with the base, which is literally like my favourite thing ever. We all know that. Then I went in with the palette, which this is just beautiful. Like so chunky it's not good for traveling like i'll say that but it is just beautiful got like a really nice mirror in there and um, some beautiful shades i'm like look at that packaging it's just insane the glitter oh, oh the glitter is this one which is also by p louise and it's in the shade And it's in the shade A Hint of Desire, which is like this really nice pinky kind of, pinky kind of colour. So, yeah, if you want to see how I kind of created this look, it's actually really simple for me. I think I just used like three eyeshadow colours, so really simple. Um, yeah, just keep watching. Alright, so I have already primed my eye with the... P. Louise base in shade one. Um, and now I'm gonna go in with this beautiful palette. Look at that, that is just insane. I think I'm gonna start off with Hooked, this one. I'm basically just taking that on a really pointy, dense brush. I'm just gonna start popping that in my crease. Not going too high with it. I feel like when you're using this base and this kind of technique of doing your eyeshadow, everything looks awful at the beginning. So just trust. And then I'm just taking my clean Morphe B18 and basically just gonna start blending out that edge. Wow, that colour looks so much nicer in my life than it does on camera. I love that. Then I'm going to go in with this shade, which I think is called In Lust. I'm going to go in with that one next. And I'm going to take my Morphe B18, like I used just a second ago. And I'm basically just going to start pressing that in just above where we just put that hooked shade. So I've still got wet hair, so please excuse that. Just like wiping off that brush quickly, and then I'm going to go in and just kind of buff over the edge again. These colours together look beautiful. That is the one thing I would say with this base, like I love it, it makes the, your eyeshadow look insane, but you do have to spend a lot longer blending out, um, but I would say like, literally it is the best thing ever. I think I'm going to do a half cut crease, so I'm just going to kind of keep this in that kind of wing shape. 
just going to wipe off that brush again and I'm just going to go back over and make sure that it's blending into where I've got nothing really nicely. And it's just started tipping it down outside so I bet my lighting has got really nice and dark. Love that. After that I'm going to go back in with Hooked, that darker shade that we started with. Again on the same brush that we used and just kind of go over where I first placed it down. Oh my god I'm loving this colour. I literally love. Just gonna make that a little bit darker by taking this shade. I'm literally taking like the tiniest brush. I always like to do this basically pretty much dead on where I'm gonna cut my crease when I do it. Um, just because it just makes your crease look so much more like sharp. I'm just going to keep building that up a little bit more. Um, I think I'm going to go ahead and fill in my outer corner. So I'm taking that dark shade in Love Shy, just pressing that right in the outer corner. Going back in with the P. Louise base. Not sure which brush I'm going to use. I'm going to take this brush, which is a lip brush, I think, from Real Techniques, one of their bold metals. Um, but whatever does the trick. I've kind of got the general shape going on. Um, Obviously because this base is wet, it kind of picks up the eyeshadow that you've already put down. So I'm just wiping off my brush and getting a little bit more. Just like working that into the brush. Then I'm going to try and take that up a little bit higher. I'm going to go back in with Love Shy and just press over that in the outer corner. Then I'm going to take this brush, which is, I think it's just a nail art brush. I'm basically just going to make sure that that edge is as sharp as I want it to be. And then I'm going to go back in with the brush that I used to start off putting the base on going to pat over it. Look at my hand already. <laughs> Good one. Okay, so now I've got my crease kind of cut how I want it. I am going to go in with the NYX Glitter Primer. Just taking that on a flat brush. And basically patting that over. Then I'm going to take the P. Louise Pigment Glitter in A Hint of Desire. I'm going to pat that over the centre. Oh, wow. Oh my god, I might just put that everywhere. Yeah, she's going for it. I'm just going to pop that in the whole way down the inner corner. So now we've got this far, I'm kind of thinking, what do we think? Yeah, we're going for it. You can never have too much glitter. So the Urban Decay Heavy Metal Glitter Eyeliner in Distortion. So this kind of has like really nice blue and green kind of flecks in it, so I think I'm just going to put that on the edge where I've cut my crease. I'm 
we are just going to wait for that to dry. Um, I might just pop a little bit of eyeliner on. Not a wing. Not, we're not going to go for a wing because every time I do a wing, it just ruins everything. But I just find that it makes your eyelashes look so much nicer. When you stick on eyelashes, they just seem to blend in so much nicer. Alright, then I think I'm done. So I'm going to go ahead and do my other eye and I think I'm going to do my face in another video. Um, so I will be back when I'm all done and I've got my lashes on and everything. Okay, so that is it. I've still not got my eyelashes on. I really need to do that. Um, but that is it for today's video. I hope that this has been of some use to some of you. Um, yeah, I hope that you like this look. I know I definitely do. I feel like a princess, so that's always nice. Um, and it was nice to be filming again. So hopefully it's been nice for you as well if you've made it this far. Um, so amazing thank you guys so much for watching and i hope to see you in my next video